Hi everyone, this is Praveen. Today I came up with uh, one more lesson. Indian soils from uh, geography part. Here in this part uh, we are going to discuss about uh, Indian soils. First uh, we have to concentrate on what is the meaning of soil. As you know that uh, soil is the product of uh, weathering of rocks because of weathering here is outermost of the earth there is uh, the valuable substance that is what we call soil so in a particular definition we can uh, say that a thin surface a layer of the earth comprising mineral and organic substances is called soil and uh, as I told you that the formation of soil is based on always parent rock, relief features, climate and vegetation. So the parent rock here is nothing but the rock from which the soil is produced. That is nothing but parent rock. Uh, there are many more uh, soils in India alluvial soil, black soil, red soil, laterite soil, desert soil, mountain soil these are the soils we are going to discuss in this particular part and soil erosion affects conservation as well first uh, let's start from alluvial soil Alluvial soil is one of the very fertile soil and uh, it is composed of uh, alluvium. Soil that are composed of alluvium is called alluvial soil. And uh, here uh, one thing we have to remember how the alluvial soil is created. It is formed from the sediments deposited by rivers that is the point you have to keep in mind how the alluvial soil is created because of depositional work of rivers and uh, alluvial is the soil which play a great role in the development of agriculture because of its fertility and uh, increases yield and production of agriculture the best suited crops which can cultivate in alluvial soil wheat paddy sugarcane cotton jute and many more types of vegetables can be cultivated for each soil we have to keep in mind how that rock is uh, sorry how that uh, soil is created where that particular soil is concentrated in India and which are the crops preferred to cultivate so one more soil that is black soil black soil alternative names we have to keep in mind so black soil is also called as regar soil and as well as black cotton soil here uh, the commonly one question can be asked here why black soil is called black cotton soil black cotton soil is nothing but uh, you know that uh, black soil is very best suited for the cultivation of cotton so that we call it black cotton soil and how the black soil is created black soil is created due to the weathering of basalt rock with high clay content and it is a highly retentive moisture and very compact and uh, some of the very important crops can be cultivated in this soil that is uh, cotton sugarcane jowar wheat one of the very important characteristics we have to keep in mind that is uh, it has retentive capacity which means 
it holds moisture for a longer period of time even though there is a very little amount of rainfall we can uh, cultivate many types of crops there uh, this type of soil can be found uh, in a Deccan trap, Gujarat, Maharashtra, and uh, particularly uh, Karnataka, North Karnataka, Telangana. These are uh, very states the black soil is found. Particularly Gujarat and Maharashtra, those are the very high concentration of uh, black soil there. One more soil that is uh, red soil. Red soil how it is formed weathering of granite rock it is created weathering of granite rock and uh, it is in red red in color as uh, uh, the soil name is itself red it is red in color why it is red in color I think in previous classes uh, you may know that because of iron oxide because of iron oxide it looks like red in color and uh, having very less content of clay very less content of humus and uh, one more thing this soil do not retain moisture for long time which means it doesn't hold water for longer period of time this is one of the drawback of this soil uh, this soil found in Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra and Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka. In Karnataka, particularly South Karnataka part have uh, some concentration of red soil. This soil is uh, ideal for ragi, millets, groundnut and tobacco. Particularly ragi and groundnut, uh, very preferred crops to cultivate in this soil. One more soil is laterite soil. Laterite soil found in tropical areas under conditions of high temperature and high rainfall. We have to keep in mind where there is high rainfall and where there is high temperature having a tropical condition there is laterite soil. How the laterite soil is created? Laterite soil is created because of leaching action leaching action is nothing but the erosion the topmost layer of the earth get eroded away and deposited somewhere uh, that leads to creation of lateral soil this type of soil can be found in where there is high temperature and high rainfall you can see there uh, areas western guards chota nagpur plateau Meghalaya, India and Satpur. See their areas, all those areas are usually comes under high rainfall area. And uh, this uh, soil, what I told you that leaching action, I told they are leached so that this soil is not fertile. Uh, the crops uh, which are very preferred to cultivate uh, in this soil, that is cashew, rubber, Tea, coffee these are the very preferred crops observe those uh, particular crops all those uh, plantation crops plantation crops are very preferred to cultivate in laterite soil one more that is uh, desert soil desert soil uh, formed under desert and uh, semi desert condition uh, we can find uh, desert soil in uh, Thar desert Rajasthan Haryana and northwest part of India here is one uh, important characteristics has been given about desert soil have content of soluble salt sandy and low in moisture which is uh, not suitable for cultivation desert soil is not suitable for cultivation and uh, having more uh, soluble salt and sandy content and uh, totally this soil cannot hold moisture for long period of time so it is not best suited for agriculture last soil is mountain soil 
mountain soil as the word tell you that this type of soil can be seen in mountain areas or hilly areas forest areas this found on the slopes of mountains hills and forest how this soil is formed this soil is formed due to decomposition of organic matter decomposition of organic matter organic matter in the sense uh, the uh, leaves of trees and uh, the organic content which is mixed with uh, soil that leads to creation of mountain soil this soil having a rich content of humus so that it is very fertile humus is nothing but organic matter matter that is mixed with soil it is called humus it is also one of the soil best suited for plantation crops tea coffee and fruits see there fruits jammu and kashmir uh, as you know that very famous for apples himachal pradesh western ghat these are all very famous for fruits coffee and tea as well so these are we discussed till now about uh, types of soil each type of soil we have to concentrate on how that soil is created and which are the crops are preferred what are the characteristics of that particular soil uh, what are the composition of that soil we do keep in mind uh, one more thing we move on soil erosion soil erosion is nothing but the removal of top soil by natural agents rivers glaciers winds sea waves is nothing but soil erosion removal of top most soil by natural agents natural agents are it may be river glaciers winds and sea waves because of those agents the topmost layer wash away that is we call soil erosion soil erosion is taking place because of many reasons because of deforestation because of overgrazing shifting cultivation old method of agriculture and production of bricks these are all very notable causes that leads to soil erosion soil erosion affects because of soil erosion what are the problem creates in our nature and surrounding one one of the effect uh, you observe there loss of soil fertility and fall in agricultural production it is very important effect fertility decreases because of fertility decreases there is low yield and low agricultural production and uh, because of soil erosion it leads to silting floods and even uh, rivers can change the course direction and uh, because of soil uh, erosion uh, and because of silting the capacity of reservoirs will reduce silting is nothing but uh, the waste uh, material and sediments that dumped in bottom of the lake and uh, tank or river beds that is what we call silt or silting that leads to reduction in water holding capacity of reservoir because of soil erosion ground water level decreases and decrease in soil moisture ground water level also will decrease because topmost layer which uh, will erode away so that the water does not uh, stagnate so perco uh, percolation what we call percolation of the water decreases so that amount of water which seeps down into the ground level decrease so that the ground water level will also decrease vegetation cover dried up and droughts will increase and uh, economy gets set back because of soil erosion and uh, how can we conserve 
I mean, uh, how can control soil erosion, production of soil from erosion and preservation of fertility? How can we conserve the first one? Afforestation and reforestation are the best way. And overgrazing, overgrazing control. We should not uh, graze the animals frequently in a particular place that leads to erosion. We have to stop that. Contour forming. Contour forming is nothing but uh, uh, plowing the land or cultivation of land across the flow of water. Across the flow of water that uh, reduces the speed of the water down and uh, some percentage soil erosion will reduce contour forming construction of check dams contour bunding construction of bunds to stop running water and uh, collection of water there gully control and uh, bench terracing terrace forming we call that terrace forming is nothing but uh, level by level we have to form the land and uh, cultivate the land so these are we observe here soil types of soil soil erosion and it affects and conservation thank you for uh, joining with us